the Council of the Nations will be brought to nothing. I wanted to reinforce today what I have spoken in the past and what I continue to speak, that God is God and there is nothing that's going to stand against his will, his sovereign will. Amen? Amen? That we are victorious in the living God. In the name of Jesus, we are victorious in Christ. You are victorious in Christ. Regardless of what is going on, you're going to stand in truth. You're going to stand on the word of God. And by the spirit of the living God, you will succeed. And the counsel of the nations will be brought to nothing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. I want to start with uh, verse verse 6. Psalm Psalm 33, verse 6. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and the host of them by the breath of his mouth. The heavens did not just evolve somehow. The heavens were not just brought in by some form of evolution, but they were created by the word of God. Now, this is important that we grab hold of this truth because the world was created by God's spoken word. He spoke it. He spoke it by the word of the Lord. The heavens were made and the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. God spoke. Someone say, God spoke. God spoke. God is not done speaking. He is still on the throne. Amen. It says, as he gathered the waters in the sea, today as a heap, together as a heap, and he lays, he lays up the deep in the storehouses. Let the earth fear the Lord. That's what's needed. The fear of the Lord. Amen. Which is the knowledge, uh, the beginning of knowledge, the beginning of the fear of the Lord. Right. Amen. It says, the earth, let the earth fear the Lord and the inhabitants, the word stand in awe of him. As we stand in awe of what he has done because we recognize, because we look, we look to him. He is the author and the perfecter of your faith. And so in spite of what you see today, in spite of the different things you hear, in spite of the different um, you know, things you may hear about this, about COVID. Many people are talking about the COVID-19 still, of course, because that's still going on. But I'll tell you right now, God is with you. He is for you. And, and you're not going to fail as you keep your eyes on the Lord. If there's any fear going on in your life right now, oppression, all of that, well, we take authority over that. We cancel that and we say it's under our feet. God is true. Let God be true and every, every man a liar. I am telling you right here today, the whole COVID-19 is such a diabolical, uh, demonic um, uh, attack and very well planned out attack, by the way. But I, and you may have heard me speak on this in the past, but I'll tell you what, regardless and in spite of all that, I know where it comes from. It comes from the pit. It comes from the pit, wickedness in high places, deception all around. I don't buy it. I'm not going for it. I'm not going for the, the hype that is, is being brought about it, is being spoken about. Because I'll tell you right now, my God has created the heavens and the earth. My God, our God, the same God who spoke creation into existence is the same God that said it is done. It is done. And that is the same God that says in verse 10 of Psalm 33, the Lord will bring the counsel of the nations to nothing. We get to stand still. Church, we've got to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord without fear, but not just that, with hope. What has God told you to do? Because it is my conviction to heed the voice of the living God and do what he has called me to do. And that I have done. That I have done. I do not, I do not succumb to man's ways when it goes contrary to what the word has spoken to me, what the word says. And so that's a conviction of mine. What has God spoken to you? Because you've got to realize you're going to obey, you're going to obey a voice. Which voice is it going to be? The voice of the Lord or the voice of man? And so it says here, the Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. And so today I want to bring forth Exodus 14, 13. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand still. We're going to jump over there right for, for a moment. In Exodus 14, 13, Moses said to the people, do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. The Lord is accomplishing some things for you today. And it says here, it says, for the Egyptians whom you see today, you will see again no more forever. You know, that wicked assignment coming against you, you're not going to see that again. I want you to stand in the word of God. It says the Lord is going to fight for you and you are going to hold your peace. So not only is the Lord going to fight for you, not only are those giants coming down, not only is that mountain going to be leveled, not only are you going through the Red Sea, not only you're going to have peace through it all, but also the things that God has spoken to you about, 
It's about time you walk in those things. Come on. It's about time you walk into the promised land. It's about time. Amen. So we're going to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And when you go to verse or Psalm 20, verse 7, it says, Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. It is not too big for you because it is not too big for our God. It is not whatever you may be going through right now, whatever trial, whatever heartache, whatever fear, whatever worry, it is not too big for our God. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses. And the, these are strong, powerful, you know, a horse is a strong, powerful animal, a chariot, fast, right? Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we are going to trust in the name of the Lord, our God. The name of the Lord is your strong tower. The name of the Lord is whom you run into and the godly, the righteous are safe. God will deliver you. God will deliver you no matter what. You keep your eyes on the living God and you do what he tells you to do. You do the what the Lord tells you to do. Back to Psalm 33. Psalm 33 verse, verse 12. It says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people that he has chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord is has chosen you for his own inheritance. And I will tell you right now, Gideon and his 300 men, small army in comparison to what he was up against, but Gideon and his small army of 300 men were enough to wipe out the Midianite army and destroy the two kings. Because when God says to an individual, rise up, mighty man of valor regardless of what they may think about or feel about themselves i'll tell you when god puts his mark of approval on you because he finds a woman or a man of god that will not shrink back but will walk forth in bold tenacity knowing that if god be for me who can be against me my job is to heed hear and heed the voice of the lord i will hear his voice and i'm going to follow after his voice and that is the critical thing right here today and truly surely is every day every day every day of our lives it is it is vitally important that we hear the voice of god and we follow after that voice and no other voices even when you are not in the majority even when it seems like you are in the minority it doesn't matter because with god you are a majority come on in verse 16 we're still in psalm 33 it says verse 16 no king is saved by the multitude of an army that's why i used gideon 300 see no no king is saved by a multitude of an army a mighty man is not d delivered he is not delivered by great strength a horse is a vain hope for safety and it says neither shall it deliver any by its great strength come on behold the eye of the lord is upon those who fear him and on those who hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine i decree over you that no matter what goes on i decree over you the goodness of the lord in the land of the living i decree that as you keep your 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 heart right and you and you keep your ear to hearing what the spirit of the lord tells you to do god will protect you god is going to move you forward you're not going to succumb to be a man pleaser you're not going to fear man you're not going to come into an agreement with a diabolical lie and you're not going to bow your knee to a demon you're not going to bow your knee to a demon because the lord is the truth he is opening up the veil right now any veil that has been placed upon you i want to pray right now i feel the unction to pray right now for some of you so in the name of jesus right now the veil i come against the veil that has come over the church over the eyes of the christians the believers that should know what god is doing and partner with christ and not fear and succumb to man's ways and the lies and the schemes that are being spoken of today in the name of jesus for those that have an ear to hear today father god I thank you Lord we command the veil to be broken the veil off their eyes right now to be to fall off to fall to the ground and to bear no fruit in the mighty name of Jesus no longer will the church be taken into captivity for a diabolical lie because we walk in the wisdom of God and if we walk in the wisdom of God then surely we're gonna know what the heart of God is speaking to us today in this day in this season and we're not going to bow our knee to a demon we're gonna stand up even if we stand alone we're gonna stand strong like the word said and I just read in Exodus 
stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. They're going to stand still. I decree over you, saint right now, I decree over you, you will stand and you will see the salvation of the Lord. Now do what God has called you to do. Ask him, seek him, be a, a man or a woman that walks with the conviction of the Lord simply because you know his voice and the voice of another you're not going to you're not going to follow you're not going to heed you're not going to take you're not going to take counsel in you're not going to listen to you're going to listen to the voice of your heavenly father and i command fear to go in the name of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus some of you can't hear the voice of God because it because it's too mixed right now with a spirit of fear you can't hear what God is telling you because you're so because you're walking in a state of fear 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 but the Bible tells us that God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind so I decree over you the spirit of fear to be broken off of you the spirit of oppression to be broken off of you because you have the spirit of God's love power and sound mind so you have a self disciplined mind that you're gonna be able to discern what is of God what is not of God you're gonna be able to not only discern but you're gonna be able to walk in faith and overcome those Giants you're gonna walk in faith and do the will of God regardless of what you are being spoke what is being spoken and what is being told to do you're gonna heed first and foremost the spirit of the Living God heed God's voice heed God's voice that is so important so the nations are gonna to come to nothing I'm telling you right now it says here, the Lord brings the counsel, the counsel of the nations to nothing. So no matter what, if that counsel is wicked, that counsel is coming down before your eyes. If that counsel is wicked, and I believe there's a lot of wicked counsel right now that's going in, 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 in our government and in high places, a lot of wicked counsel, but God always has his remnant. Don't, don't, don't fret. God always has him, his remnant. Be a remnant. Be one of the remnant. Choose today whom you're going to follow. Choose today which voice you're going to heed. Choose today to walk in godly discernment instead of man's fears, instead of man's deceptions. Choose today what you will do, whom you will follow. Choose today what voice you will hear because as you take authority and you cast fear out, there is not going to be the mixture in you that the world wants. When you have mixture, it's hard to discern which which way to go? Who am I hearing? Is what, what am I feeling? But when you remove, when you purify your heart by getting the mixture out, then you will heed the voice of the Lord your God and follow after what he is saying. Amen. Oh, this is a critical, critical, this is a critical message as, as to where we are at right now. Even even with, even with the, the, the COVID restrictions still upon um, us, you know, at the same time, who's Whose voice are you going to heed? Whose report are you going to believe? Whose, which, in which way are you going to walk? As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I have decided from the very, very beginning, when the Lord told me from the very beginning, this is a diabolical deception, you know, that it's so wickedly designed by the, by demons themselves and, and, and people partnering with, with this because they don't know, some don't know better, some are just completely deceived. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, you know, the, the finger it is being pointed towards having a government that is so ungodly. The finger is pointed towards, let's, let's remove whomever stands for Christ, whomever stands for godly values, whomever stands for uh, marriages between male and female, whomever stands for life. The, 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 the finger is pointed. We, I, I know what God has spoken to me from the very, very beginning. And, and so therefore, you know, because of that, I, I haven't gotten caught up, you know, with, with the fear and the, and the craziness of what of what is happening today instead I choose to keep my eyes on the Lord and say Lord whatever you tell me I will do and I will not shrink back and that's what I'm telling you today no matter what God tells you to do be a person of conviction do what God tells you to do with the right heart of course with the right heart we always must keep our heart in check always and you pray for those pray for those that maybe have not they haven't heard they haven't un understood what God has revealed to you pray for the body of Christ the body of Christ today needs 
healing needs we need to come into agreement when we come into agreement when we come into unity the blessing of the Lord is there for us but there is so much division right now so pray for the body of Christ and pray for our president pray that he hears pray that all the mixture pray that all the voices that are trying to speak to him to bring in all this crazy com, you know confusion that those are halted in the name of Jesus and that by the Spirit of the Lord that he will know what is of God and you will heed the voice of of the Lord amen and so and we believe that what God has begun no man is going to be able to change strip apart tear asunder come on we believe that the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him and on those who hope in his mercy to deliver their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine so either you believe the word of God or you don't that's Psalm 33 verse 18 and verse 19 Come on, the Lord is good. The Lord is for you. The Lord is not against you. I pray for you today. I pray for the boldness of the Lord to come upon you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The wicked flee though no one is chasing after them, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. You are as bold as a lion. You're rising up today and you're gonna stand for truth. You're gonna be a man or a woman of conviction. And so I decree over you today that because God is with you, you will not fail. I decree over you today, if you feel like you've fallen, get up, get up, get up again. Because the righteous, you know, people, you will fall seven times, but at the same time, you will rise up again. Rise up again. Seven times you may have fallen, seven times get up again. The Lord is with you, you will not fail. And so in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Father, for them and for their families. I thank you, Lord God, that this is a new day, that you're going to bring beauty out of the ashes. You're bringing something beautiful out of all of this. We decree our children walk with the Lord, and they shall not walk in compromise. We decree that this is an awake, mo an awakening moment, a, a um a moment where their eyes and the eyes of their spirit is, is just awakening to the will of God. We decree, Father God, that you turn all things and you work all things together for good for those who love you and are called according to your purposes. So we decree that over our homes, over our family, over our city, over our state, over our nation. We decree, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. We decree in the mighty name of Jesus for a, for a God-fearing a president that fears God and stands for Israel and I thank you Lord God that that is what you are doing and we have total faith and confidence that Lord God you are moving this thing and you will not let the wicked you will not let the wicked succeed in the mighty name of Jesus and we give you all praise Father God we glorify the name of the Lord our God